Um, we have approximately 800, it could be a thousand uh, uh, places that might be available uh, for the, as I suggest, about 11,000 applications. Um, and uh, the, the, the second point really is that the university takes the view that we must do everything possible to enable communities who simply don't have adequate information. Uh, schools where information is not provided adequately to learners uh, to provide a window op of opportunity for them, even if it's one in ten uh, that we are able to provide an opportunity for, we think it's our duty. We are a national institution. We serve this nation as a national institution to the best of our ability. Um, and regrettably, uh, today, uh, we had this, this, this rather uh, terrible um, and very sad uh, situation. Obviously, that's going to mean that we're going to have to relook this entire process. Uh, obviously, what we will be doing uh, with the police services uh, and our protection services is to uh, uh, launch an investigation, uh, a full investigation into the situation. Uh, uh, and we hope that uh, those of you who do have footage uh, of uh, what happened, that you would be able to provide us uh, with that footage. Obviously, we will uh, review our own cameras, uh, our CCTV cameras. Uh, we will also review the still photographs that we took before, during and after this uh, event. Uh, but we uh, are looking uh, for any uh, information or assistance that we uh, can get in order to understand exactly what happened. Uh, and as I say, we will be working closely with the police services uh, to understand what happened and to see what improvements, if any, we must make uh, to avoid such a tragic incident as happened this morning. Uh, but before we turn to questions, uh, perhaps if we could ask, I could ask Prof. Mari, perhaps just to talk about the late application process more. Thank you, yes. Every year we have uh, many, many workshops based on the lessons learned the previous year. So we put together a strategy uh, making provision uh, on this campus this year. We centralized the process on this campus this year because it became too difficult to manage uh, four different campuses simultaneously. So we uh, erected the, the, the temporary structures here uh, and we accommodate the flow. Those that have not applied they are directed to the big structure uh, uh, tent and uh, they are given the opportunity then to, to complete a form. Uh, we are experiencing that the, the, the learners are not always well prepared. They do not know what they want to study. They don't know what UJ offers. Uh, so we end up with lots of career counselling uh, within that process. They submit their uh, application form together with uh, certified copies of, of, of the uh, certificate as well as the um, ID number and we collect them and we then uh, start processing them. We divide them then in the different faculty programs uh, with, uh, at our student enrollment center after which uh, the, uh, these uh, uh, applications are uh, directed to the faculty and they then see if they do have space in that particular program and most of these applicants unless they have a 40 plus IPS score and thus far we've only had five or six of them, maybe ten, I'm not sure we, today, but yesterday we, we received very few. So the, the other late applications will then be placed on a waiting list uh, subject to space. We commence our uh, registration process for seniors on the 23rd of January and we, uh, the first years only start registering on the 30th of January and by that time we will have a very good idea how many seniors have returned and how much space we do have left. There is a complication, however, uh, parents don't always have enough money to pay the registration fee now, uh, so we, uh, we usually finalize our figures and numbers the second week in February. So registrations this year continue until the first week in February and our lectures only commence the second week in February. Okay, um, so, I mean, you will notice that even the lines as they, fl as they flow, the flow is not as good 
And the reason for that, when you go into this tent and you will have an opportunity again to have a look at it, is precisely what Prof. Mari is, 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 is uh, stating. And that is that um, a lot of the youngsters basically walk in with their result statement and say, what can I study? with this result statement. And so there is high level, it's not, you can imagine, we don't have an hour, two hours per learner uh, to counsel, but that counseling process then slows down uh, also the, the process because it's pointless filling an application form without having a first or a second choice listed. Uh, and so it does mean then, as Prof. Mario has indicated, that once the seniors have registered, we would be able to inform these late applicants who have been conditionally admitted that you actually admitted and you can come to the university. So yes, within 48 hours they will know their status and that status may be declined or conditional. Uh, that conditional can be converted to full admission uh, subject to what happens in the next three, or shall not in the next three weeks, but from the 23rd of January uh, till the first, second week of, of February. So that's the situation then. Um, uh, we, we uh, just going back to the fatality and to the very sad loss, um, a very complicated situation because the young man uh, was in the tent when the situation happened, or at least was in the lines when the situation happened, and he was not aware uh, of uh, his mom having uh, perished. Um, and so we are providing counseling and support. Uh, to, to all of the families concerned. Um, as I said, we have uh, one fatality at this stage, two very critical that we uh, anguished about, uh, and then uh, six or so other uh, lighter uh, injuries as a result of the stampede.